All right, hey guys. So a lot of you guys seem to be having trouble with downloading Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. So this is my guide to show you how to download it. Now the website we are on is my abandonware, and this is a pretty good website. But let me just say for um, I just have to say this out there. I don't condone pirating in any way. I feel like you should need to pay for your games, but in cases like this, the only way to play this game is to get it from sites like My Abandonware. So that is what we're going to be doing in this game. But generally, I am against pirating. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to click down. Uh, first thing, first things first, you have to make a folder. You can right click, right click, and then click new folder. So make that new folder, name it JPOG in lowercase, okay? So you shouldn't have anything in it yet, but I have stuff in it now because I already have the game. So now go ahead and download this ISO version. So download it, and once it's finished download, um, it should say up, up in the top right here that the game is downloaded. So now locate that and extract it and open it locate that in file explorer and extract it and open it now what you need to do is once you open it once you open it it should say dvd drive jpog now once that happens click setup and i can't click this because once i click it it's gonna uninstall the game and since i already have the game installed if i click this it's gonna uninstall the game and i'm gonna lose all my progress so click it, and it's going to show you the EULA, it's going to show you the Terms of Service, and then it's going to show you an option, and in that option, you're going to, have, you're going to be able to browse files. So, because it's going to say, where do you want to put this file? So, so then you have to browse your file and make this, put this, put it in the lowercase JPOG folder that you made on the desktop. Okay, so once you do that, it's also going to ask you if you want to make a desktop shortcut, which I did. It's right here. So now you want to go ahead and download this no CD version. Now, if you try to run the game right now, it's going to say wrong disk inserted. So the no CD makes it so it, the wrong disk makes it so it won't give that error and that you could actually play the game. So now you want to download no CD and once it's downloaded, extract that and then it should say simjp or simjp.exe. Now take that simjp.exe and open your folder, open this folder with uppercase JPOG and now just drop that simjp.exe in here, in here, in this. So now, once you do that, it's going to ask you if you want to replace, if you want to replace, and it's going to replace this. And now you should be able to run the game. Now, if you click it, you should be able to run Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Now, it might give you an error. It might give you an error. And the reason why is because your Windows might not be able to run it. So what you do is that you right click here, right click, um, regular click on properties, compatibility, and go down and set and set to run this program in Windows 7. If Windows 7 doesn't work, try Windows XP or Windows Vista, okay? And now your game should be working. You should be able to play Jurassic Park Operation Genesis and everything should be good for you. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and importantly, subscribe because I have helped you out a lot. All right. See you guys in the next video. And I know my microphone does sound bad, but I got, I'm buying a new one. It's on the way. So, everything should be good by, the t by next week. See you.